All right, we're going to do a quick review of the Superintendent MP1, and uh, we'll um, set it up real quick and see uh, what we think. I think it's a little overpriced, $139, but if it works, it works. So uh, I just need something that works for portable, so we're going to do a quick review on this. So, uh, you know, and uh, so I'm going to get here where the light's not killing me. I'm in Arizona. The sun's brighter than hell. So this is what you get from Ham Radio Outlet. So, uh, it's a ruler on the back. And I already have most of everything else, so I'm going to put it on a mag mount. Uh, we're going gonna to stick it right here on this. I'm not going to bother doing it like that, but I could. we got several different things to try out, but for now we're going to keep it simple. Set this down. Actually, we're gonna pause it. All right. So this is what we got. Some instructions. This here. The guide on the back. Extension poles. Your main coil, which is really, really light. And the uh, collapsible antenna. I didn't want the titanium whip. I've got a bigger one here. The MFJ 10 footer. So we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna set this up in a second as soon as we pull everything out of the packages. Right back. Okay. The sun's killing me today. So what I want to be able to do is put all this stuff in here, and I think I probably can do that. So just take a little fiddle in. Or I might have to buy the next step up case from Harbor Freight, but at any event, so I'm going to use this radio today. We're going to be on the 20 meter band probably. And um, just want to keep it real simple. Oh, the wind's crazy today. I'm going to go take this over here. And we're going to start this guy. I'll spare you the deep. Okay, fully assembled, doesn't take very long. I've got everything that it comes with, minus the base. So we we'll take this guy here, we put it right here. We line it up at the bottom of 14. And let's get that whip up there. So I imagine if I was to put the other whip, it would uh, throw everything out the window, but um, it seems okay. I don't really like the aluminum. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of aluminum. In fact, I'm not a fan of it on this either, but uh, the problem with aluminum is it corrodes. So, let's go check it out at the radio. Get it on uh, 14. So we can do this. So I'm at the bottom of the band, so no adjustment, and uh, go up here to that. So it's uh, on the short side. Yep. So I could adjust it a little bit more. Let's try a different band. So this is quite funny. I went to go adjust the thing and the whole thing come right off. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's supposed to do that. That's what you're looking at here. This is just a piece of aluminum machined. So. Get this thing to go back on there. Okay, there we go. We're at the top of the coil. It fits pretty loose up there. Um, so, 
It uh, definitely kind of loose. Definitely kind of loose, so I could see where you would not want this to be fully extended if you didn't have to. Just I figured it wouldn't work real good on 40. So I adjusted it as good as I could for 40. I'm at the bottom of the band. I don't quite have the thing all the way extended, but further out doesn't seem to help with the coil. So um, right now I got no SWR, but the minute I touch the radio, I do. Uh, if I pick it up and hold it, it'll be. fairly high and uh, so I mean that's not a lot for it to reflect against but it's got to be a whole lot more mass than some radials running so um, I, I don't know I mean like I think that uh, it should probably work a little better on 40 than that um, I think mostly because of the design of the top whip's not long enough really. I mean I've got other antennas that are similar to this. This one right here, I put a 10 foot piece on it. I mean uh, it works really good on 20. And this is uh, based off of the, uh, the ultimate HF antenna build. Then we've got one of those MFJ things but I find that uh, it's kind of hard to beat these ham sticks as they, they like to fall apart. Um, if you do mobile with them, they won't last. This wouldn't last if you did mobile with it either. So, I think this antenna probably works good on 20, maybe. Um, maybe if you double the radiator, you can be down further on this coil. Um, so, um, I don't think it's worth the money that they're asking for it and I haven't transmitted on it yet, but I can already tell what to expect based on how my 818 reacts with the SWR. So making contacts on this is probably gonna be real difficult. I'll do another video of that later. So at any rate,